Hey everybody, happy two for Tuesday to you. Today we have two flavors that are from the same company that are extremely similar. Personally, I can't quite tell the difference, but we're going to go through and we'll find out what the differences are. You have SSA, Juicy Cherries, and Compote Cherry. Both of these were purchased at Bull City Flavors. Pick them up over there. Relatively cheap. SSA flavors aren't very expensive. So we're going to go down. We'll see what they say about them on ELR. And then we'll come back up and we'll wrap this puppy up and let you guys go with the rest of your Tuesday. Let's go, everybody. All right, here we go. We have, first we'll start off with the SSA Juicy Cherries. Average mixing, the median is 1.5. Singles 1.5. Let's see, we have Mixtress Rin, who I always depend on her opinion. Unique cherry that's not quite maraschino, but not quite black cherry. No medicinal notes, amazing. 1 to 3%, depending on your taste buds. Uh, HC. So, did Sabucky just come out with another great cherry? Yes, they did. Yeah, because I find they do have, you know, between Mullenberry, SSA, they make they have some good cherries here. And it's not quite ultra concentrated. I mean, it is and isn't, I guess. Let's see, we have Frunkster, another decent cherry offering. This one is buried in the compote cherry, in his opinion. Uh, zero chemical off notes. Has a green hint about it, light skin tone. Let's see, did Session Drummer do anything here with this one? No, he did not. All right, I see a lot of people are copying the same thing here. They are most commonly used with sweetener, the compote cherry that we're going to talk about here shortly, uh, flavor West sweetener, uh, flavor Express lemon, marzipan, which is another like a cherry type of flavor from Inaware, almond, cream cheese icing, Inaware cherries, pie crust, and SSA's whipped cream. Let's find who's made, who has the top rated recipe for this flavor. Uh, Julia Sue, who's an awesome mixer from over in Europe, does a lot for chef's flavors. She used it at, actually, where is it here? There it is, 1.5% with Inaware cherries. She used a blueberry juicy ripe with bilberry. Uh, some citrus drink, a little bit of cooling. And Flavor Express Lemon. What's it saying that I'm actually oh, missing on this? I think I have the citrus drink. I'm pretty sure I do. And cooling agent, you will. Know. Welsh summers are always cold. No cherry flavors will always taste like cough syrup. No. I want to make a juicy cherry mix for a while now. And this one really hits the nail for her in summer temperatures. Because this one was made in July of last year. So last summer, nice and hot. Uh, sort of cherry base that is strong and full of red and juicy. The SSA cherry, juicy cherry with anywhere cherries combined make a real good cherry. Add some citrus drink and some lemon, add some smooth and soft tang. The blueberry, I guess it was blueberry mainly because I thought it would round it off. Turned out nice, it looks good. Let me go ahead. I gotta look around, see what I have for that citrus drink. I'm pretty sure I have it, maybe I have it named differently, but I'm pretty sure I have that flavor. Let's see, Queen Anne's Cordial Cherry from Sam. This one was recent. He did a chocolate cherry here. He used uh, Australian chocolate from Hanks at two and a half. And aware of cherries at one and a half. Chocolate chunks, wonder flavors at 1.5. Juicy cherries at one. Uh, gooey marshmallow at two. Oba Oba at three. The ripe cherry from SSA at two. That's right, they have three cherries. I don't think I have the third one. Though. Uh, super sweet and vanilla fudge from Cupcake World. I don't think I have that. Yeah, I'm missing that one. I don't have chocolate chunks. Yep. So this one I can't mix right now, but let me get some of the flavors in the future. Uh, Sensory Overload did one here using it at 2%. And that's the only cherry. Oh, the marzipan in here gives it kind of a, that's not like another cherry note. So just not a bad looking mix. Total percentage thirteen and a half. So this, you know, this one came out last summer. 
There's 30 public recipes and 220 private recipes already. Let's see, Wendy L used it. And a little short mix. Uh, she used the flavor of black cherry at a quarter. Fruit chewy candy flavor west at four. Juicy cherries at one quarter. And vanilla swirl at two and a half. And it's got a couple of comments on it. Some five, five star review. Nice. I used it in November with the compote cherry. I used meat at one. And I threw in some shisha vanilla, sweet cream, and uh, as I say, whipped cream. I really like this one. This one turned out pretty good. You get a good, nice combination. You see, it's been used, you know, in Black Forest cakes, red sour cherries. Uh, Juice Fairy used it in January with Black Cherry Bliss. She used uh, almond she, uh, from FA, Blueberry Wild, Flavor West Cheesecake, Joy at 0.1. She used this Juicy Cherries at 0.75. Uh, FA Meringue, Shisha Strawberry, Strawberry Ripe. So it's a cherry strawberry. It's just the two vanilla cupcakes for that. You know, one, uh, the, the cat more for the frosting and the and vanilla cupcake from TFA for the more of the cake notes. Nice looking mix. I think I saw Fresh 03 used it. Yes, he did. And yeah, Amaretto Sour. So another beverage. He uses it at 0.6 to help boost up the uh, lemon limes and stuff like that. And the blood orange. I'm saying I'm missing so something here. I'm not quite sure what, what I'm actually missing. Let's see. What, what's this? Lemon lime soda. Oh, yeah. I don't have the one flavor lemon lime soda. Okay. It works. Let's see. Anybody else? Bogdog. All right. So let's say it's been used a little bit. Not a big time flavor. Yeah, well, it's new. It's a newer flavor. Now let's go ahead and let's check out compote cherry. Pull this up. Try to spell it. Not messing up. There we go. Compote cherry SSA. Medians at one, single flavor at three. Most commonly used with a lot of the same stuff, except you can see we have yes, we cheesecake it's being used with, uh, VSO cherry, uh, you know, the ripe cherry that I don't have, the sweet yogurt, uh, stuff like that. So it's used a lot, it seems like, in bakeries. Uh, see, top rated on this one is going to be uh, Sam with Lumpy Spray Space Princess back in November. You use it with jungle flavors cheesecake. So we made a cherry cheesecake style vape here. And you use this compote cherry at two, the ripe cherry at one. And let's see, cherry chariot of ice cream, Tommy V. My boy Tommy V is a great supporter of the channel. Use VSO cherry at 1.1. Use the compote with 0.8. VSO cherry at I mean VSO sweet at 0.1 and liquid barn vanilla ice cream. It's got cherry ice cream here. It looks pretty tasty. Let's see. I where we should I made okay. Here's cherries and cream from Fresh 03. Uh VSO at one, the compote with the juicy cherry 1.5 and 0.8. Uh VDA sweet cream and some vanilla sugar. Let's see here. The mix and vixens, Rin's Black Forest Cake, Chocolate Chunks, Compote Cherry. Just using you know, basically a, ch a cherry chocolate with some cake. Use it at 0.5 when Rin does mix low. Just her, that's her flavor. Uh, let's see. Wayne used it in orange cranberry liqueur back in December. And you had some uh, bourbon with the cherry, some blood orange to boost it, some orange. So cherry orange, cranberry, bourbon, boozy drink. Let's see. Uh, here's a cherry cordial from Fresh right before Christmas. Use it at 1.2. Use uh, VSO chocolate, VSO cherry, sugar cookie, and sweet cream. So you can use it in many different ways. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it, dogs! We got four, yeah, 40 public and 229 private mixes. Let's see. Anybody else? See, Bubba used it. In January, Let's take a look at Bubba's real quick. Uh, let's see, he used it in combination with Inaware uh, cherries. 
And you use lemon lime soda, lime, sour watermelon candy, and wild melon. Not bad. Alrighty, gang. Let's go back here. So, like I said, here's our two cherries for today. Let's see, we got compote and juicy cherries. Let's see, other ones, you know, SSA makes some good stuff. Seems like for some reason the Polish companies, in Aware, Mullenberry, SSA, they do a good job with cherry flavors. Not many others do. I mean, there's some really rough, horrible cherry flavors out there. Cherry is one, the one that I've always been a little on the conservative side with my mixing. If I use it, I don't, I, you know, I don't push it hard because I do get concerned about getting that note, that medicine note, and just, you know, it just destroying a mix. I do like to layer these two together. I'm, I haven't really mixed so much when I'm separate. So I need to go ahead and try that out. Alrighty, gang. That's our Tuesday. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. Thank you all for your support. Because you, without you guys, this isn't worth doing. All right, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.